Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Elias Santiago. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. Now let's go to Nia for Today in History. Hello, Patriots. Today in History on November 29th, 1877, U.S. inventor Thomas Edison demonstrates his hand-cranked phonograph for the first time. A phonograph is like a record player with the original version and is made of tin foil, not hard, dense material. Hello, hello, hello for a playback stylus. Put it back on the machine. They play and record sounds just like record players. It's actually what inspired record players in the first place. Not only did it inspire record players, but also headphones, music boxes, and gramophones. Would you ever think that this small device would inspire the headphones we use today? Let's go to Samara for today's lunch. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is spaghetti with Italian meat sauce, seasoned breadstick, turkey cheese wrap, seasoned Italian veggies, fresh broccoli, buttermilk ranch dressing, garden side salad, pineapple tidbits, and tomorrow's breakfast is apple frutal, raisin bran graham crackers, fresh apple, and 100% orange juice. Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time and to always bring a lunch card. And don't forget to inform your teachers if you will be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit and let's head back to your life. Thank you, Samara. That sounds wondrous. Tomorrow, grades 7th and 8th will be able to have their turn at the Patriots store. Make sure to be there between 7.15 and 7.55 a.m. Patriots, remember to keep your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times, and there's no chewing gum in school. So please spit it out before entering the building. Next Tuesday, we are having a family night at Barnes & Nobles. We are going to have the most fun reading some interesting books. I adore mystery books. Do you? Announcement for boys in grades 5th through 8th. You will all have the opportunity to try out for our basketball team. To try out, you must have at least a 2.5 GPA or higher and a completed sports physical. The trials will be held next Tuesday, December 5th from 4 to 5.30 p.m. Good luck! Today, second graders will have their reading NWA while third and fifth have their math NWA. And tomorrow, sixth through eighth will have their science NWA. A good rest will help you do your best. In the new year, 2024, we will have another instructional software challenge. Started from October 23rd, through next year, January 19th. And your reward will be much better than the breakfast party because now you will have pizza and popsicles. This seems pretty worth it. Will you complete them? This fun run will be held at its peak with all the fun you can conceptualize. There will be games, action, color, and you could even have the chance to win a PlayStation 5. In order to join, you must ask your parents to sign you up and collect some donations in order for you to go. This will be all the rage. It starts on the 14th through 15th of December. Will you raise enough? In two days, it will be officially December, so what better way to enjoy a wonderful month by having a sweater party? Friday the 15th from 6 through 9 p.m. And when you attend this event, you will pay a fee of $15, including a meal. Whoever wins gets to be crowned the Cozy Christmas Champion. Tomorrow, our boys' soccer will have a game against Parkway Academy at 4.30 p.m. Let's show them our support at the game. Now let's check out some sports highlights with Catherine. Thank you, Eliah. Welcome back to Sports Patriots. On Monday, our boys' soccer had a game against Juice Academy. Congratulations to our boys' soccer who won the game 1-0. The MVPs of this game were player number 4, Jeremiah Madeira, who scored a goal, and player number 22, Daniel DePass, with the best defense. Even though there was not a large crowd, the players in the bench were strongly supporting their teammates. Keep up the good work, boys, and we hope to see you at the next game. Thank you, Catherine. Hey, Patriots, today's with us. Make sure to wear a jacket. In other other news, 600 people set a Guinness World Record in honor of the fallen surfer, Zach Young. They did a paddle out to get into the middle of the ocean. A paddle out is a symbol of surf culture and a traditional tribute to a life legacy. They all held hands and formed a circle in Zach Young's honor. Why were they honoring him, you may ask? Zach Young was a 19-year-old surfer, but his life was cut short by a tiger shark in 2013. That is such an inspiring story. Now let's go to Giselle for today's birthdays. Thank you, Camila. Today's birthday boys and girls are 
Evan Lopez, Aiden Thorpe, Emery White, and our belated birthdays are Camden Taylor and Jaden Vernis. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Aliyah. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents presenting yourself positively, act kind towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Sands, Ms. Stankwa, and Ms. Reddick for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what can you touch but not see? The correct answer was, someone's heart. And today's daily challenge is, Daily Challenge. Fill the blanks with numbers from one to nine. You can use the numbers more than once, the important thing is to reach the same sum vertically and diagonally. Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. Have a fantastic day!